Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be showing y'all what I have found to be the absolute best way to capture exhaust audio from loud vehicles even while rolling down the road. It kills almost all the wind noise all the way up to about 50 miles an hour and you can get a really loud vehicle loaded all the way up on throttle and still be able to get good clean audio without just clipping the crap out of it and making it completely unusable. We've even decided to give this rig a clever name. We call it the Jimmy Rig for obvious reasons. I mean, looks like a Jimmy, a twig and berries, a dollar fifty, a cop. As funny of a name as that may be, Jimmy here is no joke. Every piece of gear in this kit I have hand selected to perform the task at hand, which is to capture obnoxiously loud exhaust audio under windy conditions while still being light enough and cost effective enough that I'm comfortable hanging it off the back of a moving vehicle via suction cup mount. This rig can be used in conjunction with another setup that I showed you, I'll link it in this video, using a lighter and even cheaper system taped under the hood of a vehicle to capture under hood audio, which is particularly useful if you have a turbocharged or supercharged setup and you wanna get the under hood noises. So let's break this kit down and show you exactly what we have here. Okay, let's break this down and show y'all exactly how I have this rigged up. So first things first is our mic, the most important part. That is a Sennheiser MKE 400. It has a built-in wind muff and they provide you an additional external wind muff. So you have two different types of wind screening, which leads to phenomenal audio, even in extremely windy conditions. I have that screw mounted to a ball head that is attached to this Fat Gecko dual suction cup. I'm using the three and a half millimeter that's provided with the Sennheiser. And then I have that ran to a three and a half millimeter cable extension and into my Zoom H4N. I like this because it gives you tons of audio gain options on the side and it can be used standalone to just sit behind a vehicle for standing revs and that in conjunction with the high and low gain or neutral on the Sennheiser here, you can combine the Sennheiser MKE's uh, audio gain with the Zoom audio gain and because this can't use phantom power, this being having its own dedicated power via a couple of batteries is phenomenal. I also love that these are all battery operated so I can just keep a, another couple of batteries and never have to worry about them dying and being out of service during a recharge. So when I'm rigging this up I will tape everything down with gaff tape. I will slip the mic inside of something that will keep it from rolling around and then I'll put it somewhere it won't, won't slide around in my vehicle. This is a little carrier. Uh, in most other vehicles, you can put it underneath of these where the spare tire goes. There's always a void in between the tire and the actual hull. You can stick it there, you can stick it in the corner, just somewhere where it's not gonna slide around. And always remember to bring some sort of three and a half millimeter plug-in um, actual speakers so that you can monitor your audio and double check that it actually sounds good instead of relying 100% on the waveform provided on the Zoom. So let's give you all a little bit closer look at this setup here. So here is the Sennheiser and as you can see it has the negative, neutral, and positive gain as well as a low pass filter. And you have a power button. On this side you have your headphone in and volume for your headphones. I usually never, well not usually, I never ever use this, I'll just do it off the zoom. And then back here you have your battery compartment at the rear, a couple of triple A's in the back. And as you can see it's inside this cocoon of a wind muff and the actual recording unit is inside here far smaller than the full size. That comes with this additional windscreen that slips over the top. We record it to the Zoom H4N. You have your gain over here, your play and your menu options, your line in and your uh, headphone in 
for recording and monitoring, and then your volume for your headphone output. It's also got a USB port, record button up front, four different mic settings because it has several different microphones inside of the actual unit if you decide to use the zoom itself for recording. And it operates off of AA batteries. They can be rechargeables. One more thing about the, the uh, Sennheiser is that the front mic thread, sorry, front mic port is threaded. So once it's on there, it can't be pulled out, which again is absolutely perfect for what I'm doing. And this is the dual suction cup mount. It's got multiple different points of adjustment and then a little cheap, not cheap, crap, but you know, cost effective ball head on top. So you can move this all different kinds of ways, even the suction cups themselves. So if you have to mount this on the corner of a vehicle, they can be adjusted in or out. And I like the fact that there's two because one will support the weight of the whole rig. So two means that you have a little bit of a fail safe there. Well, folks, that's the Jimmy rig. Thank y'all so much for watching this video. If y'all have any questions, please leave a comment down below. If you want me to cover something in a future video, also leave that down below. Like this video if you liked it, and I guess dislike it if you want. Dislikes are like irrelevant now on YouTube, at least until they come back and y'all can see my actual ratios. And subscribe to stay on top of all my upcoming content. Y'all have a great day. Mm -hmm.